So as you can see, I was literally in editing, and then Barnard Lees released a new Patreon video, and he actually reminded me of some of the amazing shortcuts there are. So I can pop up Discord. So you can see this, and if I hit Windows and D, it just goes right to my desktop. It closes any window. So if I have settings, I have that one. What else should I open? I have WinVer. If I just hit Windows and D, everything just goes. You can see it's still open in the background, but everything just goes. So that is an easy trick. Uh, I'm going to insert this in the front of the video, and then I'll get back to normal video. Sorry about this, like, very weird thing. Um, What was the other one? Windows Control D, there has a new virtual desktop. So these virtual desktops, if you hold Windows in Control, you can go through all of these. So what you can do is you can have, for example, Firefox on one. You can have that. I know, 10 out of 10. And on here, you can have Edge. You can have this. Then over here, you could have Mail. Or Control Panel, whatever wants to open. Then over here, you can have Mail. And it doesn't want to open, so I'm just going to... I'll tell you what, let's go for... No, we've already got Edge. Let's go for To-Do List or Photos, whatever. That opens up fast. So there you go, there's Photos. There's Control Panel. There's Edge. And there's Firefox. And that's all on different virtual desktops. So if you have a multi-workflow, it's easy to do it like that. And all you have to do is go to the virtual desktops. By the way, the way I got that to load is by pressing Windows and Tab. That is how I got uh, this screen to load is Windows and Tab. That is the only other tips and tricks I can remember right now. So now we're going to go back to the video and we're going to go back to the intro. Hey there guys, it's me, the episode 6 here, back with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how how to use windows 10 windows 10 tips and tricks that is what i'm thinking of so let's get right into the video I tr this is my third time recording this first time i absolutely just gambled on for too long second time uh i forgot that it was still recording in a .mkv format which no video editor can take and i could not convert it no matter what i tried but do leave your suggestions down below on what i could use to convert it but yeah, I'm now going to use this take as my video, and I am going to empty my recycle bin on here because I give up. Bye. So, the first tip and trick I have is pressing the Windows and period key. Right here, this brings up the emoji menu. This is what it actually Barnett Lee's taught me. And he's the one who challenged me to this video. As you can see, is if I scroll up... Right there, don't be a little bitch and beat me to the market. Well, you won't guess what? I am. And yeah, let's get started. So, I've already shown you Windows period one. So, let me show you how that works. So, I can do a bunch of random emojis. There you go, you can see they're all loading in. Next emoji. Hold on, let me put my chair on lock. I'm doing this video so I can take some of Jerry's views and get money for a new chair. <laughs> using the Windows and E key to open up File Explorer. Now as you can see I'm spamming this and it's opening up a lot of File Explorers. So this one is very handy if you need to do a bunch of things at once. So opening so many File Explorers that my computer is slowly crashing. Ah, crap! But don't worry because even though he's opened up all these File Explorers there's a simple way to close them. It's pressing Ctrl and holding W. So pressing and holding Control W will rapidly close windows and my computer is now lagging to an extreme level that I've never seen before. <laughs> Technical difficulties with Alex on live. Just making sure I was in the right view. So as I said, you can do Windows and E a bunch of times and then you can do Control W a bunch of times to close them. Now another handy trip, this is for, trip, trick, this is for basic users if they come from Mac. 
you come from Mac, you know Command C and Command V does Control and Copy. Well, for us Windows people, Control C and Control V does that. So I'm going to put in there. Hello, how are you? You. There we go. Hit Command A, Command C. Uh, sorry, Control A, Control C. And then put in, then open point, and then press Control V. Hello, how are you? And there you go. And also, if you do Command X, that cuts, and then it pastes. Try doing Control V. Now, as you've seen, you can also press Windows in V, and you can also turn on Clipboard History. So you can see right there, Clipboard History. Hello, how are you? You can copy that, and then I can also copy. Uh, let's just type. Let's just type French. And then we press Control C. And then if we press Windows and V, you can see we've got Hello, how are you? And we've also got French. See? So it's as easy as that. Another cool handy trick for basic people if you don't know. Uh, so say you've got oops, say you've got a notepad that's got a bunch of stuff in, but you can't be able to close it. All you want to do is close it immediately like that. So all you have to do is on a Windows PC is hit Alt F4 now. Now this is the basic one, everyone knows this. Well, most people know it. But some people don't, so it's best to know. Another one you can use is um I forgot it. Windows I. Windows I will immediately launch the Windows settings. So you can go in here and you can customize like all your display settings and change all the resolutions. And you can see I kind of forgot to do it, so if I revert, you'll see it go back to normal. And I'm hoping this didn't stop my recording. Let's check. No, it didn't. Perfect. So if you've seen a black screen, I was just changing the resolution. You can change it to like 125% view and all that by just pressing Windows key and I. It's as easy as that, the letter I. Also, if you press Windows and on a key that says pause or pause break, you can get all your system specs. You can see if I quickly open Magnifier again, my little friend. You can see all the specs of my system right here. It's an Intel Core 797 700 pm and all that. So yeah, it's literally as easy as that. Another handy shortcut. So we all know sometimes we want to take a screenshot. So we don't want to have to go in here and search snipping tool. Hit new. Then we have to drag around a box of what we want. And we realise we forgot what box we wanted and then we realised we did it too big and we have to crop it all and all that all you have to do is to take a full screen screen shot press windows and print screen your screen will go a bit dim and then brighten up again and then if you go to pictures and screenshots you can see the very last screenshot was this one right here which i literally just took off um trying to think what was the other cool tip and trick um my brain forgot windows in r that's the other one so if you need to open something quickly like notepad and you can't be bothered to go through the slot menu just press windows and r and nine times out of ten it'll work so here i hit a slap at the end sorry there you go there's notepad then you can even do installed programs like firefox and then Firefox is going to open up. Firefox is my web browser of personal choice. And then another cool thing is if you know all your Windows builds number, you can go to Windows 1. You can type in Winver and you get this little cool dialog box. Let me get magnified so you can see what this is. So what this says here is you are on Microsoft Windows 10 or whatever Windows version you're on. It is say Microsoft Windows, then your version and your OS build. You can Google it and see what one it is. You can see this is copyright 2019 and it is licensed to me. That's my email address. So that is as easy as that. And there's my little friend Magnifier that we can close. So yeah, I think that's pretty much. I keep on going to the wrong one. I think that is pretty much all the tips and tricks that are mainly important. <laughs> the only other one, I just remembered there is one other one. It's Control Shift Escape will open Task Manager if I didn't go through that already. Watch all the main twi- Oh god, this is a tongue twister. 
tips and tricks I can remember off the top of my head. These are all the ones that I use on a daily basis, especially the Windows File Explorer one and the Control W. Those are my personal favourites. But yeah, if you ever want to rage quit game, Alt F4 is your friend. <laughs>